Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about Alamancer Jack in the Pits of Altania. In this video we're going to have spoilers for both this short story as well as Mistborn Era 1 as a whole. So warning now. So Alamancer Jack is a Tinai gentleman adventurer we see in Mistborn Era 2. We hear mention of him repeatedly in the main books and it's well known that Wax does not think very highly of him. There's a very obvious rivalry between the two men, both of whom were explorers in the roughs around the same time. Our main look at Jack comes from the short story Alamancer Jack in the Pits of Altania. The story, while written by Jack, is edited by his terrorist companion Handerwim. Handerwim's snarky footnotes act as a foil to Jack's outlandish storytelling. They are both equally pretentious, albeit in different ways. As a result, this is perhaps Sanderson's funniest piece of work he's published. The humor, while subjective, really landed for me personally. Unfortunately, good things never last. The two had a very public business breakup during the events of Bands of Mourning. Allegedly, Jack stole some of Handerwim's stake in the company and used it for more media investments. This short story was a treasure trove of answers in regards to the Colossus and Era 2. In it, Jack recovers an aluminum chest full of lost spikes for a Kolos tribe. We had it revealed that during his ascension, Harmony changed the biology of the Kolos, allowing them to now procreate. And when you think about it, this actually makes a lot of sense for Satan's character, as he was actually in a similar situation throughout his mortal life. Regardless, the children born aren't actually Kolos yet, but Kolos blooded. Something we saw a bit of in the main books, when Kolos blooded individuals come of age, they're offered spikes to fully embrace their tribe. If declined, they are sent away and forced to live amongst the humans. It is said that for as many Kolos blooded that don't accept, there are just as many down on their luck humans who seek out the tribes to restart their lives as Kolos. But this story also left us with some questions. The Kolos refused to harm Handerwim because he is a terrorist steward. Instead, he's treated with a lot of respect. Why is this? And are the terrorists allowed to take on spikes to become Kolos? Hopefully we find out in the next era. No matter the answer, I do believe we haven't seen the last of Alamancer Jack. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's gonna be a blockbuster hit come era three. Now, to give this story a ranking, I'd give it a strong 7.5. It landed really well for me, especially on my second read through. I enjoyed it a lot more. It's simply a fun little story that has some fascinating small reveals about the world. With that, that's the end of my review. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.